Hey everyone, it's Pat with Seattle Coffee Gear. We're here today to talk about our top three brew grinders of 2020. So these are, in our opinion, the best grinders you can get for slow brew methods like drip and uh, cold brew, press, pour over that are on the shelf right now in 2020. So we differentiate between brew and espresso grinders because brew grinders tend to operate on the coarser side of the scale versus espresso grinders that want to go pretty fine for that pressurized brewing. So there are a few grinders out there that can do both, uh, but we generally recommend doing a dedicated espresso grinder and a dedicated brew grinder if you can, because it's more convenient and they're more specially designed for each type of, uh, of coffee making. As we go through the video, you'll see some pop-ups uh, for the crew reviews of each of these grinders in case you want to get a little bit more in-depth information about each one. First up, we've got the Breville Smart Grinder Pro. So speaking of grinders that can kind of do both, this one we put on the list because it has that capability. So this one can kind of go coarse enough for slow brew methods and fine enough to get into espresso. Uh, it might not produce the same quality of espresso grounds as some more expensive, more dedicated grinders, but this one's a great option if you are working with a limited amount of space, really like one style of coffee but might want to explore another one down the road, or if you're just on a budget and really can only do one grinder to get started with. Uh, so this one is available at pretty great affordable entry level pricing, and uh, it's got a nice big hopper here for a lot of beans. You're going to get 40 millimeter conical steel burrs in this one, so it is a pretty high quality burr set that's in this grinder. Uh, you also get time dosing through the screen right here, which is a really nice feature and it's really intuitive and easy to use. Uh, and then you're also getting this really nice uh, wide range of stepped adjustments. So the stepped adjustments here are going to click the burrs between different settings and you can go again all the way coarse for press and cold brew or all the way fine for espresso brewing. And the reason you can do that is because this grinder has so many different grind settings available on it. Uh, it also makes it really easy for you to kind of switch between your different types of grinds for different brews because you can just note the number. Uh, and because this grinder is so popular, there are a lot of guides online for specific settings for different brew methods. Uh, you get a catch bin with this grinder for using it for brew style grinding for things like drip and pour over. And then it's also got a port filter attachment that you can snap in if you are switching over to using it for espresso. Next up, we've got the Eureka Minion Chrono. So if you are into espresso, you might know the Eureka Minion line as being a really fantastic line of, uh, of espresso grinders that feature things like an all metal case, stepless grind adjust, uh, really powerful burr sets, low retention, um, and generally just a lot of reliability and power. So the Chrono here is a grinder that's been designed for brew in that line. So it has 50 millimeter flat steel burrs and it has that stepless adjust, but generally the, it is engineered through its, uh, its design and internals to be used for brew instead of espresso. Um, so one of the ways that it's a little different than some of the other grinders, the other grinders we've got here is this stepless adjust. Typically on brew grinders, you'll find a stepped adjust like what we just talked about on the Breville. But the stepless adjust makes this a pretty unique offering in the, in the brew grinder space. And it lets you get really, really specific grind levels that are super precise for like tricky single origins that you're trying to dial in for a specific flavor for pour over. So this is definitely kind of a enthusiast grinder but it's also just a really high quality grinder and it offers a lot of the features that Eureka offers on their Minion line for brew at a really compelling price point. Um, this one differs from the Filtro, which you may have seen by offering a timer down here. That's why we call it the Chrono. Um, so you get some time dosing in there as well instead of just the push button operation that you get from the Filtro. Otherwise, it's pretty similar to that grinder. It also has these really, really nice smoked hopper and catch bin accents that look really, really beautiful with the, uh, with the color of the case. And last but far from least, we've got the classic Barazza Encore. So if you've already been into coffee for a bit, you've probably heard of the Encore. It is one of the best entry-level coffee brew grinders that you can possibly get. 
Um, this grinder is super well known, super reliable. Uh, it's an old workhorse and it has uh, really good support from Baratza, really great parts availability. Um, inside it, it's got the 40 millimeter conical steel burrs. So it's a quality burr set. It's really easy to take apart and clean. You don't even need tools to get started on that. Um, it's got a stepped grind adjust. And again, this is one that because it is such a popular grinder, you're gonna find loads of suggestions across the internet on settings to use for this one for different kinds of grinds. Um, and then it's also just really, really easy to use. It's got a great footprint and super intuitive. It's really simple with its on-off grinding, but that makes it really, really good for what we call single dosing, which is kind of weighing out a certain number of beans, putting them in the hopper, turning it on and grinding through those. But the hopper is also large enough if you want to pour most of a bag in it as well. Um, this grinder was one of the ones that we used here for tasting pour over for a really long time before we started to kind of explore a few other grinder options and switch it up a little bit more. So it's really great. It's probably going to be on top three lists for as long as it's made. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video so that you get some notifications on when we've got more best of the year content coming out. And stay tuned for, for more of these top threes. Thanks.